So, um, here will be a review of the 150th scale TWH Oshkosh Hemp M985A2. This is an army vehicle and it's all around a great model. I don't know much about the real machine, but I would assume it's to carry materials and it also has a crane on it, so I assume that's what it's for. Um, Another model that I don't normally collect, but I had store credit, and this is actually my brother's, and he's wanted this for a while, and he got it. The model either comes in this color variation or the sand color, um, and the sand color is obviously exactly what it is for those of you that don't know. Model features uh, twin steering on the front, back axles stay uh, non-steerable, and it has a decent amount of suspension, as you could tell. Uh, very nice suspension, I must say. My favorite thing about this model is the camouflage. They did a great job on the camouflage. I'm glad that they did it flat color because all my models are glossy. And be this one being uh, on a flat finish, awesome. Very nice. So let's get the review started here. And I have to just fix one or two things. First, now, to show you. So, the front of the truck has shackles, and they're attached to these, uh, these hooks underneath, and unfortunately the shackles are plastic, and it's bad that they're plastic, but the cool thing is they can come off, and if, if you just pull them apart a little and pull them out, they come off, and I think that's cool because you could display this model pulling a truck out, or um, even pulling itself out on a winch. I think that is awesome. You can see the front cab is just great looking. Again, I think the camouflage makes this look so great. You can see it's got the two lights on the front and it's got the windshield wiper and the small cab. It also has opening doors on the front and they, they just seem to swing right open which uh, I don't know why, but that's just what the model does. And you can see it's got the mirror, and the cool thing about the mirror is the mirror doesn't swing like the door, so you can push the mirror out, and you could also fold it in. Inside of the cab is pretty detailed, as you could tell. Um, the seat is air ride equipped, or cushioned, whatever you want to call it. It's got a center console, and you can see it's got decaling over there and the right door opens as well um, like so and it's also got a, a, con, a, a dashboard right there and you can see the, the center console it's got a fire extinguisher and I don't know what that is but like, like so the actual step to get into the cab is cool because as you could tell one side it's got um, the the normal like the the 90 and then it's got the chain to hold it up so you could fold it up I guess if you if you gotta go uh, up a hill or down a slope or you could uh, put it down like that and I like the fact that they added the chain that is very cool I like that a lot coming on to the back of the truck over here is you know it's nothing crazy I don't know anything about this truck in real life, so I can't compare it, but I'm going off the build quality of it. On this side, this tire you see up here, the spare, you actually have to put on yourself. It comes in the box unassembled, so that there is a slight bit of assembly required on this model. The up top, you can see where it's riveted on the real thing, obviously. Over here, these open, and this is actually where your engine is, which is very cool. They're on a hinge, and they fold down as well, and there's your exhaust running from your engine, and all that. Now, like I said, I don't know anything about this real truck, so if I've given a wrong description or anything, bear with me. I don't know anything. Down here, you got a fuel tank, it looks like, and you got a compartment over here, 
back tires, rims are black, matched the tires, and you got the suspension on the back. And this side, you pretty much just got more storage and looks to be some air tanks right there. And a very cool thing is, it's actually got a caution decal up top. Now, you can see this truck could be used to, uh, I guess you could haul gravel in it or, you know, whatever you want. These sides obviously could be used so nothing would fall out. But the cool thing about the sides is if you pull up these little tabs right here, And then there's these little pins over here, and they're attached to a chain so you can't lose them. The sides fold down, which is awesome. I know a lot of people probably when you click this review, even if you clicked it, you probably were thinking, what was I thinking when I bought this model? But if you look at this model, it's extremely cool. And if you only want one side folded down, you could only fold down one. Or... If you only want the center one folded down, only fold down the center one, which is awesome. Or you can fold down all three at the same time, which I think that is awesome. And the same goes for the other side as well. You just pull the pins. And one of my favorite things about it is that you actually have to um, pull the pins at, on the edges, like the real thing. I'll show you how they go in. They're attached on the inside of the bed, and you just put them in like that. I think that is awesome. It really shows that they did a lot to make this model, and it it just it's like the real thing, and uh, that's why I like this model so much. Although it doesn't get much use by me, and the back ones in, so. To load stuff into the to the bed, obviously you need a crane, and it's got this little fold-out crane, like a like basically a knuckle boom crane. And surprisingly, there is a lot of detail on it. It's even got a two-part hook on it. So how the crane works is pretty much you fold it out like this, and it comes out. The bad thing is, like so. It does, it can come out of the cylinders, which it could be a pain to put it back in. Like so, and, you know, it would be a lot like this, and then it's extendable. But the cool thing about it is, you actually have a winch on it to bring down the hook. And, obviously you need to add weight to it. But um, the boom is extendable, and I think that is just very cool. Great feature to it as well. Sometimes it could give you a little problem. Sometimes it could go easy. One thing that they could have did was they could have added a little stop so the cylinders won't come out. Um, but I guess it's, it's not meant to be used like that. And I think that's great. It even comes with a little hook, which is awesome. It only extends out on that one, too, if you wonder. I think it's pretty crazy that they, they have a winch for it as well. And if you fold it in like that. Now, although the back is very detailed, like you could tell, you got all the controls for the crane right here. You got a pintle hitch, uh, all warning decals. Um, the bad thing about it is, although it does have outriggers, like here, they don't extend and they don't come out, which is d disappointing. It doesn't affect the model because you're obviously not going to lift a lot with that crane, but it's disappointing that they went as far as to put the crane and they didn't put the outriggers on it. Um, but like I said, you're really not going to lift anything, so it really doesn't matter, and 90% of the time, I have it displayed like that anyway so it really doesn't matter but since it's a review rubber mud flaps and they give you extra shackles and there you can see how, how the shackles are and extra mirrors and everything like that so overall def uh, definitely not your average model and you definitely don't see a lot of people with this model in your in their collection 
Uh, ever since I got this model, I want the one that has the... It's a tractor and it's got the fifth wheel and the trailer. I don't know if I'll actually get it, but it would be nice to have to complete the set because I have the tank and to complete the set would be nice. Extremely nice model. Don't see many people with it though. Don't know why. I believe it runs for 189 bucks. I guess that could be uh, uh, a, a good a good reason why many people don't have it, but I'm sure a lot of the military people have it. So thanks for watching.